be making uh, two water stops for sure. Uh, please remain on the train at those stops. And we're gonna stop also at Rockwood and take our extra engine off. This en engine is a helper. It's there just to get us up the hill. And at Rockwood, we don't need it. And we'll send it to go get water first and then we'll leave four minutes behind it. And then we'll catch up with it at the tank. It'll already have its water. We'll hook it up and we'll be ready to continue on to Silverton. And then on the way back, uh, we don't use that engine. We don't need it to come downhill. Train. He likes the train. He didn't want to get off. Alright guys, I am super pumped. Today we are doing Durango's number one rated activity, which is the train from Durango all the way to Silverton, Colorado. And it follows this amazing river, which I believe is the Animus River. Yeah. I'm sure we're gonna learn all of this. <laughs> and it looks so picturesque. It looks relaxing. This is a long day. This is gonna be roughly eight hours from start to finish, but that gives you two hours in Silverton to explore, to get lunch, to do whatever. Is that, is that what Lincoln's gonna get for uh, Christmas if he's not good? How sad, he's just a baby. You're gonna give him coal for his first Christmas? He's gotta be good. So rude. So this is apparently the number one scenic train ride in America. Go, no, you're fine, oh. go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> and we actually drove this road um, the other day so now we're gonna get a different perspective of it from the actual train tracks it's just in the canyon a little bit more oh you hear that I think it's time to board uh, and speaking of boarding they actually have multiple different types of train cars they have enclosed ones um, we're gonna be on one kind of like that where it's like open air but with a roof uh, so they got a few different kinds you can see over there and uh, we're gonna hop on in a minute but also just wanted to let you guys know that if you come on a weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, parking in town is free. Um, or they also have a um, parking lot at it's near, near McDonald's. near McDonald's. It's like, it's not very far. Mm -hmm. So you can pay to park there if you're coming during the week when it's like not very far. All aboard, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> We'll be making uh, two water stops for sure. Uh, please remain on the train at those stops. And we're gonna stop also at Rockwood and take our extra engine off. This en engine is a helper. It's there just to get us up the hill. And at Rockwood, we don't need it. And we'll send it to go get water first and then we'll leave four minutes behind it. And then we'll catch up with it at the tank. It'll already have its water. We'll hook it up and we'll be ready to continue on to Silverton. And then on the way back, uh, we don't use that engine. We don't need it to come downhill. All right, thanks. So the train station is at the very end of town and then we go right through downtown in the first part of the, the ride.
power itself up the hill. So we made it to Silverton and now we have about two hours to explore this town and then we're back on the train back. Now we're in the historic mining town of Silverton. We've been here before but it's super cool to see. The buildings are awesome, shops, you know, it's got a nice downtown that we love exploring, downtowns. That's our thing. That's our thing apparently. Ooh, cool seafood. Hey babe. Yeah. What do you love about Silverton? Mm. It's in the mountains. It's in the mountains? Mm-hmm. Is that all you got? It feels a lot older than a lot of other towns. It does. It's like, in a sense, like similar to Telluride because it's in like this really deep valley. But all of the buildings are really, really old looking and just like redone in a sense, like restored uh, to kind of keep that historic value. that all the buildings have so much character. They look so different. Everything is like unique here. I love when on really old buildings, they put like the year that it was built, like up on the stone up there. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. It's pretty cool. I don't know what cool. it's called, but it's nice because you can see how long the building's been there. Last time we were here, it was springtime and there was like no one around, nothing was really open. And wow, now in mid-August, what a difference. This place is, I don't know if I'd say bumping, but there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people, not like a crazy amount of people. Um, so it doesn't feel like overwhelming, but um, there's a, plenty of shops and restaurants to go hang out at and various stores. So come check it out. Oh, and there's some soaking pools. You can take a mineral bath. And the weather's a little nicer. A little bit, it's a little warmer. So 
do as you wish with the train. But from our experience so far today, highly recommend bringing your own lunch and your own snacks and your own drinks, which you're allowed to do on the train, because then it will save you a lot more time to enjoy the shops, enjoy downtown Silverton. We just ate our sandwich right before the train exited. Uh, we did grab a coffee and now we just have a lot more time to explore, which is nice. Rather than trying to rush to a restaurant, get something to eat, place an order, all that stuff. So something to keep in mind. What do you think, babe? Should we sell our trailer and buy this? I mean, I would be down, but it's only the camper for sale. The truck's not for sale. I need the whole package. I need the whole deal. Oh, what? I want that sweet truck too. I think it's rad. But how cool would it be if we had this? Think about the storage boxes that you could build in here. And you could have so much storage for all your outdoor gear. What do you think, Lincoln? That'd be pretty sweet. Wanna live in there? Yes, he does. He'd be, he'd be pretty stoked on that, I think. So obviously Silverton is very friendly uh, to off-roaders, jeepers, hikers, bikers, a little bit of everything. Last time we were here, we actually took the Wagoneer up, what is this valley called, dear? Let's just call it Silverton Valley. I don't know. I don't know. Basically, you head towards the mountains that way, and it's extremely beautiful, and there's so much jeeping around here. There were tons of like waterfalls because mm -hmm. it was springtime. Um, it's just really, really beautiful trails everywhere. And um, this is so nice. I like that we don't have to drive the million dollar <laughs> highway back. It's kind of nice. Just you just get on the train and just chill. Because yeah. there is an option to take the train up, bus back, or bus up, train back. We're doing the train both directions. It is about three hours, three hours and 45 minutes each direction on the train, which is way longer than it would take in a car. Totally. But it's very like relaxing. <laughs> it's very relaxing and scenic, so. Yeah, Melissa almost fell asleep. I did. Not because it's boring, it's just relaxing. Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna enjoy the ride. So this is basically an eight hour day. So it's about three hours up each way, two hours in town exploring. It's a full day, but I think it's a really good value and it's a really popular thing to do and I can totally see why. actually take a nap this time. So on the way here we were on the let's see left side of the train and the way back we're on the right side of the train so we'll get well no it's still the left actually because they, they switched it it's at the front now. True. But we're still on the left on both sides. <laughs> but we're gonna have different views this time. Is what exactly so we're switching say. sides <laughs> so we'll have a different view and uh, one thing to note is that if you're going to do the train, be mindful of which way the sun is going to be facing and you are going to definitely want to bring sunscreen, sunglasses, and a hat, possibly, which I don't have, which is fine because we're on the shady side this time. Okay, hand over here. How many do we got? Two. Two. Are you okay? Thank you. And a baby, right? Yes, sir. Good. dear so train ride check yes uh, that was amazing uh, it was a really long really long day but it was well worth it amazing amazing views from both sides so it doesn't really yeah. matter where you are uh, we would like to remind you it's always a good idea to bring sunglasses sunscreen and a hat yes uh, when in Colorado in general bring your own lunch or you can get lunch in Silverton or you can 
can get like food on the uh, on car. the train car. Yeah, yeah. and um, they have bathrooms on board. I really like your idea of bringing lunch. It saves you more time in Silverton for more things to do. I would say that it is very mellow. The train goes very slow at certain points. It takes multiple stops, but overall it's super fun. It's Lincoln approved. Yay! He did a great job. First train ride, yay! First train ride. Um, but if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching. Hey fellow adventurers, just a quick reminder about our cleanup and meetup. It's September 24th at Caja del Rio Dispersed Camping Area outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico. We will be cleaning public lands, having a potluck, and enjoying campfires together over the course of the weekend. We hope you can make it. If not, please consider donating to our GoFundMe. This will help us cover expenses of a dumpster, trash bags, and food for volunteers. Never move. Don't move.